Welcome to my latest hotel room review and this is um, at the Euston or Thistle Euston in London. Now it's room number 120 and I've already done uh, a hotel room from the Thistle but I've uh, done it again because this one is uh, a much different room. Um, it's just a standard room but it is really very nice so what we'll do is we'll start off with um, a look in the bathroom and as you can see uh, a shower and a bath now I've stayed in uh, four rooms in total at the Thistle Euston and you either get a bath like this one which is a good size not a lot of room to put your head to put rest your head back which is a disappointment but if you don't get a bath you get a shower as in most hotels except the only difference is these showers are absolutely fantastic um, the, the amount of pressure that comes out of the shower and if you get a shower only it also not only has a, a great big head uh, above above you to give you a really good shower but it also has a shower on a, a cord which then you can obviously use to to wash yourself with as well so if you do get don't get a bath you get a really really good shower so it is a uh, a really good um, choice there um, this hotel is one that gives you the the small bottles of um, uh, of of gel etc shower gel as well as soap and uh, uh, a hair net or a hair cover to stop you getting your hair wet if you want that in the shower also got uh, a nice sink and a usual toilet a couple of things about this bathroom one not complaints but <laughs> the 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 actual sink is really quite high it's for me it's almost chest high uh, and i'm not i mean i'm a five foot to eight and it's almost chest high is the uh, the sink which does feel a little high but the other point is this um this little shelf in the the bathroom and it's amazing but how useful it is um sometimes you sort of scratching to put things you know put where can you put things without and falling off edges etc and that shelf is absolutely marvelous uh, it's really useful for uh, just putting uh, you know your, your toothbrush down or wherever without worry of it falling anywhere because it's balancing on the edge of the sink so strange but a little thing like that how useful it is So, a little break there, I uh, just needed to turn the TV down, um, but uh, from the bathroom we then go head towards the um, living area and first of all you've got a huge mirror, which, gosh you can't really see it's a mirror, yes there you go, uh, a huge mirror which is really really um, useful, um, not just one of the little tiny mirrors you get in some of the hotels, and in the um, cupboard you've got a hairdryer you have a safe a um, wooden uh, sort of wooden legs that you can put your uh, case onto if you wish as well as an iron and an ironing board so you really have everything um, in that cupboard that you need a desk now the desk has got plenty of plug points there's five plug points there as well as one the other side of the tv so you've got plenty of plug points uh, which believe it or not is a problem in a lot of hotels you get a nice desk area but not enough plug points moving to the side of the bed and again you've got plug points at either side of the bed which not a lot of hotels have um they have uh, near the desk so you have to plug your phone in at the desk and if it's overnight and you want your alarm um, you have to jump out of bed with the alarm going off whereas the side of the bed it's much handier the bed itself I spent last night here as you can see it's sort of two three quarter beds pushed together it's really a nice big bed um, looking some more the facilities there are tea there is tea and coffee 
uh, in here. Good selection, usual amount, couple of teas, couple of coffees, um, four milks, but also some biscuits and nice biscuits as well. So good facilities there. TV, a uh, standard TV, I think you'd say for the room, probably about a 26 inch, uh, which is, is fine. Uh, good enough, certainly big enough for the room. Um, looking, and then also the few view, free view channels. Now, one downside of this room, view. Now, in this hotel before, before I showed the view, um, I've had views of um, other rooms. Basically, it's like an internal area, and all you're doing is looking straight out onto into other rooms, which isn't pleasant at all. This is slightly different, being on the first floor, and in a slightly different area, you get a brick wall to look out onto. Um, a window there, which is, I think, something to do with the business, uh, the, the hotel, because it's a totally frosted window. Uh, up there, there are some more of the hotel windows and rooms, but basically your view from room 120 is a brick wall broken up with a drain pipe. So, quite a bad view, really. Um, so let's go on to facilities. Um, Aircon, yeah, that's fine. It works nice, very pleasant. Um, the room is very clean, um, as you would normally expect. All the linen, the, the covers, the pillars, all perfectly clean, as you'd expect from anywhere, uh, really. Um, Wi-Fi is free, and it's good. You, you've got enough to watch Netflix. It's good enough to do all that. So, yeah. It, it's a good standard of, of Wi-Fi. Certainly from this room it's a, a full signal. So the only the only downsides to it really are the view. Uh, the room rate, um, again we're now talking about London, we're talking central London, we're talking Wimbledon week as you could see from the TV. We're on, uh, there's Wimbledon on the TV, so it's Wimbledon obviously in London. Uh, so you'd expect prices to be high. Um, this hotel room is coming at 160 per night, which is a lot less than some, than some of the smaller hotel rooms I've had. So it's a pretty good price for central London. Um, again, it's another one of those hotels that you've got to be careful of the VAT not being added. When you book a room, this is the same, but it does come out with VAT to 160. So that's not too bad. Uh, but it's a very modern room, very nice, and, and happy with it. And as I say, I've stayed in this hotel four times now and probably will be staying in here next week and, and the few weeks after because it's quite nice. Um, so room f rating for this room, the, the, the view is really a shame because you can look out into London, into busy streets and, you know, pretty bad really. Uh, so it's worth a, at least a couple of points knocked off for that. Everything else though is good. So I would give this room an 8 out of 10. Simply because you've got everything you need. It's got a lovely bathroom. It's got all the facilities. Good Wi-Fi. Uh, nice TV. Good bed. And very comfortable. Uh, very comfortable bed. Just a poor view. Um, it's not noisy at all. It was very quiet last night. Obviously don't hear any traffic because this hotel is, is on a particularly quiet street as well. So it's very quiet. It hasn't got double glaze and it's got the old windows, but luckily you don't need that because it's not noisy. But I would give this room a, an eight out of 10. Okay, so thanks very much for watching this hotel room review, which has been the Thistle Euston in London, UK. And please check back on the channel for other hotel room reviews. Thanks for watching.